All right, so here's just a little bit of a different kind of a sketch. I'm freehanding this and I'm doing it on my iPad. So I'm using a lot of different brushes and you gotta get to know the brushes in order to really sketch to them. So I'm gonna do a series of these. And, and this one here, uh, I'm gonna to try to kind of capture the feeling of the wolf. And um, maybe we'll turn him into a werewolf. Let's just see how we go with this because the sketching here is every single line. You gotta follow the, the darkness points and the, the light points of the, the fur. And you gotta keep the anger of this creature kind of showing through. So you get into a little bit of tight detail into the eyes. And you now I gotta add the teeth because that's what really sets this thing off as a werewolf. And, uh, but continually I'll keep adding all of the fur and the direction of the fur I have to stay really consistent with because otherwise it just won't look like it's uh, it's fur. It'll it'll just look blotchy. So I'm gonna fill in a little bit of the detail here. I start to follow the lines and get the fur going in the direction that I want it to go in. And then I'll add shading to that later. So as I add the fur, that gives me the solid direction of what's happening with the, the hair on this werewolf. And that starts, and then I'll go back, add some darkness, and start to give some detail and shape. Now again, this is just a, uh, a freehand sketch, and I'm just kind of seeing how these digital tools work. And I haven't really worked with this before, but this I'm creating in po Procreate. And um, here's the sketching and the darkness, and starting to show the details of it. Um, then I'll go back in and I discovered that I can do this, which is a lot easier than using a, a pen tool or a pencil or even an eraser on conventional paper. But I'll go through here and start adding some of the lines with a white pen or an er eraser pen to help me kind of soften up some of these areas. And I mean, for all intents and purposes, this is how the drawing is coming out here. And yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. it, it it's something to experiment with. So if you've done conventional sketches on paper, you're, you'll miss a little bit of those techniques, if you will, with the paper. But with this, I could do all this and kind of fill in the background here and get, get the feeling that I've got a cool creature going. And I'm kind of wanting to get all of the fur feeling a little bit softer. So I go back in with another pen tool, a different opacity. I can change it to this and and that's kind of a cool factor that you can have with the digital drawing and um, I did put a texture on my iPad so the screen isn't completely smooth it feels like paper it's very important because you can get the, the response from the, the drawing but anyway give it a try if you if you haven't tried it try it it's pretty spectacular <laughs>